This is Andy Perron for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And I'm joined by Dalton Smith, fresh off his victory over Ishmael Ellis yesterday. Dalton, congratulations on what was a brilliant display. Just uh, reflect on the fight for me. Yeah, appreciate that as always. And yeah, happy with my performance. Um, I thought it would have been a, you know, a more of a challenge for me, but you know, I I went in there, stayed composed, relaxed, and um, yeah, I was able to pick him apart. Your punch out put is it's brilliant to watch because you don't seem to waste anything, Dalton. Did you f ever feel at all kind of a pressure to maybe put something on Ishmael a bit earlier in the fight because he did seem kind of once you worked him out after that first round, it just seemed like it was a matter of time, really. It was, yeah, but to be honest, from watching Ishmael before, he's, he's he has got an open style and it can be quite defensive and it's it's hard to pressure that. So, you know. I, I landed a clean shot in the first round and straight away then I knew he was going to go into defensive mode. So I knew I had to stay relaxed and I, 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 I couldn't go out there looking looking for it. So so as long as I stayed relaxed, I knew I would have got him out there as long as I stayed composed. How did you feel boxing behind closed doors inside an arena this time round? Obviously last time was at fight camp, this time in an arena. What was the differences? Mm -hmm. To be honest, not much difference. You know, it's just you're fighting there without a crowd. But I think I think fighters now we're just get the ones who are, who, have, who have experienced it. You know, this is just the way forward, and you know we're just getting used to it. So you know, it was it was all right. It was uh, wasn't too bad. We've seen that uh, Ed did an interview with Matt Room's YouTube channel last night, uh, mentioning kind of your plans moving forwards and the hope that they'll allow you to kind of push on from this point. Just to go over that, what what would you like to kind of push on and do for the remainder of this year? Of course, and I think if you listen to obviously Eddie was impressed, and you know that's what I'm there to do is keep performing. But I think Eddie's just e he's eager to try and get me up there to the top, and you know that that's what he's there to do, and. You know, I feel the pace I'm going at is a good pace and, you know, people will be saying, you know, he needs bigger step-ups and stuff. But, you know, if you look at my fights, I'm seven fights in. I'm I'm only 24 rounds into my, into my you know, my pro career. So, you know, it's it's a case of, you know, I've had a lot a lot of advice from the top, the professionals who have reached, reached the top and they've advised me and they're like, look, you know, they're going to want to try and push you on as early as, as possible and you know you've just got to stand your ground and and be like you know I've got to go a pace what's good for me and you know it was meant to be the Lee Apple Yard fight on Saturday so you know in several fights that that's a, that's a very good step up in my career and you know hopefully we can get that back on and you know push towards the British at the start of next year some some sometime next year and I think in under 10 fights pushing on for a British level at you know, at my age, that it's, it's, it's not bad going. Talking about the Lee Appleyard fight, Dalton, is that something which you'd, you'd like to happen next because of a disappointment that you fell for at such short notice? Yeah, it's, you know, that's a fight, fight what I want. And, you know, I know Lee wants that fight. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't realise how much interest would have been in that fight. So, you know, if we can get that pulled off, you know, I'll be happy with that. Just want to get your thoughts on the rest of the card whilst I've got you, Dalton. Obviously, a huge shock in the main event. Josh Warrington is coming to his first career defeat to Maurizio Lara. I don't know whether you've had a chance to watch it or you have had to watch it at the arena, but kind of your thoughts if you did. Yeah, I've, I've not managed to watch it back yet, which I'm planning on doing tonight. So, but, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely good for Warrington. Obviously, he's, you know, he's, you know, I love watching him and I love following and supporting him. And, you know, he's he's a good guy and he just shows you you can't underestimate these these underdogs, you know, the young the hungry young kids. So, you know, I'm I'm good for him, but you know, I'm confident he'll bounce back. It's just a you know, just a, a minor setback in his career. Is John is it is kind of can you take lessons from Josh's kind of loss last night? I spoke to Jordan Gill earlier and Jordan said he didn't want Josh to lose, but it's come at a perfect time for him because he fights next week and it's shown if you if you kind of take your eye off the ball, what can happen? Is it kind of for yourself, don't get wrong, you won last night, but if you was to face another level of opposition and you was to have taken your eye off the ball, it could have been you? Of course, yeah, because, you know, you see Warrington, he's got his eyes on the, you know, a next world title. And, you know, he's... He, he he was planning on obviously to winning with. I'm not saying winning with ease, but it was expected to get the win on Saturday. So 
it just shows you can't underestimate and the game we're in it takes one punch and you know and it can all change so you know I've just I've got to take lessons from that and take every fight each fight at a time and you know that goes into my career as well we're up, everyone's like oh we're pre predicting this for Dalton and that but I've just got to take it every fight each fight as, as it comes what, what do you make of it when you mention kind of everybody's expecting certain step ups for yourself and how they expect your career to play out from your time working as a professional boxer compared to when you was an amateur? How are you finding it and what are you learning about the sport with regards to that side of the business? Of course, I'm, I'm still a novice in the pro game. You know, like I say, I'm 24 rounds into my career and, you know, I'm, I'm still a baby. I'm still learning. And I just need that experience now with the championship level rounds. And you know, I'm 24. I'm young. There's not. There's no need to to try and rush. I, I'm in this for the long run. So, you know, I I've got a good team behind me, and I think Matchroom and Sky Sports they're the ones. To, they're doing a great job with me, and I think they're going to guide me to, you know, to the very top. Dolan, another thing I want to touch on from last night, another fight, the Zalfa Barrett Kiko Martinez fight. I know you wouldn't have watched it, but coming in for criticism again with regards to the judges for that fight, just your thoughts on kind of the, the way that the British judging system is constantly coming under pressure from fans and from you know broadcasters. So Eddie after the fight comes straight after comes straight out, sorry, and said uh, he he he's been unhappy with it now for for a while and he needs something needs to be addressed. Just your thoughts on it. It's exactly what Eddie said, and it doesn't do him no favors. It doesn't do the fighters no favors, and you know it's frustrating because obviously the British board they are the one of the best, but you know when you've got fighters going in risking their lives, you know putting everything on the line to to not to have an unfair decision. You know I've not managed to watch the fight back yet. I heard it was a close fight, and the scorecards was you know on the on the two scorecards it was was nothing to what what they seen so. I just think it's unfair and it's it shouldn't be happening in the sport. Dalton, final thing before I let you shoot off. How did you celebrate your victory last night? <laughs> Not much, to be honest. For come on, um, to, to be honest, I got a big bag of sweets. You know, got, <laughs> got up, well, I travelled home last night, so it was early hours. So, you know, I had a, I had a line this morning and just chilled out. <laughs> I was say, uh, I, I've been told that you woke up around two p.m. <laughs> Oh, I've, to be honest, I woke up this morning and I thought, I'm, I'm going back to bed and ended up waking up at God knows what. <laughs> well, Dalton, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you. Congratulations once again on your victory last night. Enjoy it and I look forward to seeing back in the room, back in the ring soon. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. And I appreciate it as always. Thank you. 